Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley here, and today I am going to be showing you how to do Caesar Cipher encryption using Python. Let's get right into it. So, what is Caesar Cipher encryption? Well, Caesar Cipher encryption is a very old type of encryption where we take a letter and we get a shift value. And we shift the letter down the alphabet by the value of the shift. For instance, if we have the letter A and a shift of 3, well, that A becomes a D because it's been shifted three places along the alphabet. We do this for whole words. This encryption is going to make everything lowercase. It's going to ignore special characters and numbers and just add those to the encrypted message without doing anything to them. So let's go and define it all. We do def encrypt text and shift. So we're defining a function called encrypt. Two parameters are going to be for text you want to encrypt and for shift. Inside we do text equals text dot lower. We're going to be converting this to a lowercase. Then we want to do encrypted underscore text equals nothing. So this is going to be our encrypted message that we're going to print later. Then we are going to do a, a for loop with some code inside. So we do for char in text. So we're going to be looping through every character in our text that we want to encrypt. We're then going to do if char dot is lower encrypted underscore text plus equals chr ord char plus shift minus 97 mod 26 plus 97 else encrypted text plus equals char let's get the stuff over the way if what we're looking at is a lowercase letter we're going to encrypt it and add it to our encrypted text if it's not we just add it onto the encrypted text without doing anything so what does this line of code mean so this code is used to shift a lowercase letter in the English alphabet by a specified number of positions using Caesar cipher and adding it to the encrypted text string. The char variable is a lowercase letter that is being shifted and the shift variable is the number of positions that the letter should be shifted in the alphabet. The code first converts the lowercase letter char to its ASCII value using the ORD function. It then adds the shift value and subtracts 97, which is the ASCII value of A. This moves the letter shift positions to the right. The result of this addition is then adjusted by taking the mod of 26 to ensure that the result is always within the range of the English alphabet. Basically, if we're going beyond the letter Z, we're going to loop back to the letter A, then carry on type of thing. So we stay within A to Z. Finally, the result is added to the ASCII value of the letter A, which is 97, to obtain the final shifted letter. This shifted letter is converted back to the corresponding character using the CHR function and then added to the encrypted text string. And that's what's going on here. In fact, that's literally all the code for this tutorial. Well, apart from the fact you have to return the encrypted text down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do original message equals subscribe to Maxo Diddly 42069 three exclamation marks. I want to demonstrate all different types of characters and how it reacts to the encryption. We're then going to do encrypted message equals encrypt original message and two. This is going to be the message we want to encrypt and we have a shift of two and then we print out the encrypted message. Let's save our work and hit play. And that's our encrypted message. So let's look at it. Firstly, any uppercase letter is now lowercase. 42069 exclamation marks and all the spaces are still there. However, let's look at the text. So we've got a U to start with. That is two letters after S. Then we've got a W, that is two letters after U. We've got a D, that is two letters after B. And we can apply the same for all the letters here. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Python tutorials. Thanks for watching.